Welcome React Enthusiast. In today's video, we are diving into the core concept of React development. Here, you will gain insight in the following areas. Function component in React. React components. React state management. React props handling. Real-time rendering of current time. Whether you are new to the React or looking to refresh your knowledge, this video is for you. So, let's get started. Namaste. Welcome to Bit Science. Unlock the secrets of life and technology with our comprehensive biology and Cambridge Science Education. What is the difference between function and react? So if you see what we have written in the code, headers, for, we have footer, we have we all this was already there. So what we'll do, we will see is few things. So this header is a function. This footer also is function. So this is a function component. So when the, there is a function and you are exporting that function that becomes a function component. So by default this footer and header is a function component. Then what is react component? Have we created any react in this whole module? I would say no, we haven't created. Even if you see any of that anywhere, there is no react component. React component is under this react library. So we have not enhanced that. We have only enhanced React DOM, which create the root, which is binded. This ID is binded. We'll transform this function component to React component. How we can do that? First, we need the React import. We'll say React React. So instead of function, function will be stay here. I will say class. So React component are classes. I can add my name. Header is my class name. I will extend the React dot component. So this becomes my react component. We will put that inside this react component and I will export the header. So this is same thing. But this is still the function. So react component have very basic things. Can have a constructor. You can, it's optional. We can create or not. If we skip the constructor, then this is a function. Function, there can be multiple function. It is custom function as well. So I don't want the function. I need the render function. So instead of having function I will change to render function. Render function will render your component. So this is going to help me to create my whole component. Save this you probably say see no differences. But I know this is a react component and this is function component. Okay. There are some advantage with react and function component. What are those? You can use state and props of react. Okay. So what are state and props? So if states are property, so that value can be changed when there is a uh, event occurs or may modify or we want to update something. So its state can be changed, but props does not change. It is immutable. Immutable are those which cannot change the state of its value. So the value will remain same. So you see how we can create the state component. So this is a constructor of this class. So whenever this React is created, constructor, whatever the value that may be initialized. So this will have this state. So there is a state of, of this particular current component. Let's say name. Name will have, this is header. I will say header. So this, if you want to use this value inside your DOM, you can use like this by the attribute win. In the curly braces, write state dot name. State this dot state dot name. So if you write, you will see your header. I will add this as something. A constructor will always, all the over is using this React on component has to call this super component in your constructor. So who is calling this header? This index is calling the header. So this index, if if there are multiple component, multiple function is calling, then that's why you need to call this super constructor, so which will call the parent constructor. So we, we understood how to enhance the state. So let's understand the props. So props are those which you cannot change. Understand by uh, saying that there's a function and you want to pass some value. So you pass that value, that becomes the property of that function. That property can be used. So same like in this props of React, you can pass certain value within the props. Props is kind of object, you can pass that value. Say you want to pass some value of that component, one component to another component. So we have index, I will pass some value within the component. So this is a tag, right? Tag can have attribute, 
So I will say my own custom made attribute called name. Okay. So I will say here top. And this name will become a prop value whenever I want to call the construct. We will store that prop. The name value will store this props variable. So I have to also call the super construct. Now the, I can call the props values. So what I will do, I will add one more statement. I will say this is also at props dot name. This you have to write this dot props dot name. I know there, there is no this here as like this state, but you have to use this because this is the current uh, scope of that. So prop will have all your value. So if the prop contain the name, then it will be displayed. So this will say props. So I will save this and if, if I go to this our web page header, this is inside the header, which is state and this is also top which is coming from props there. So we understood how state and props works. This top can have dynamic value. So where you can change the value, you can only change from here. You cannot change it from your here. Like just like you have state, right? You cannot change. If you try to do that, like, like this props are constant here. And you want to change to top two. You cannot do that. You will not see the result. Avoid this type of doing and if you want to change only, you have to change by state. Yeah, you what you can do is you can have this at props dot name. This can be done. So whatever you want to pass the value and in your as attribute, that can be added into your state and state can be changed. So if we want to send some props value, so let's go to see both become the top value, right? It was earlier it was header, but it's, it is now top. One more interesting I want to show you is with app.js let's say if you want to add a current time and you want to update that so how you can do that a simple function call so i will add one i will add one statement which will have current time like this i'm i want to see the current time right now but if you just add this you will get only the whenever the date has been called only that particular date you will not get the update we'll see here we are able to capture the today's time but it is not getting updated i want to update every second if you refresh this page you will see the new time every moment now how to do that we will go to index where we have this render function because app does, app function doesn't have my render function here so i cannot update so update is only by the render so whenever the renders or i would say whenever you're clicking the refresh button that is actually hitting this render function every time so what if if I able to call this render function every moment, then I will be able to hit Y. I, I can refresh my page, right? So this is this is the other way. This is not this is not the right way, but this also can be done. So what we'll do, we will the uh, function called set interval. This set interval will call a function called tick. So I what I will do, I will move this whole code into a function. So which is a tick function which will tick every moment. I will save. So this will become my tick function. If I save this, this is all okay. You will see the current time is updating at every second. What is happening in this whole page set interval is, is hitting this function and whenever the function is render function has been called the whole page which have header app and footer everything is getting called because of that app is also getting refresh and there you have it a comprehensive guide to mastering react components from functional and class component to state props and real-time rendering you are now equipped with the knowledge to build powerful and dynamic react application if you found value in this video consider subscribing to support our channel growth and don't forget to give it a thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend to our audience. Before you go, I highly recommend checking out our next video. You can find the link in the comment section below. Thanks for watching this video. I'm Ati Dinath and you're being hanging out with BitSign. See you in the next exciting video.